Hey guys, Martin Bennett here from The Loan Room. Today's topic is, should I go interest only or principal and interest? Before we get into that though, just to quickly know, this is not financial advice, just a general conversation. So, there's so many different opinions out there that when you're investing in real estate, should you have interest only repayments or should you have principal and interest? Now, this is gonna be different for everyone, but my view and my take on it and what I personally do is I look at principal and interest repayments. See, the reason I do that is because the future is never guaranteed. I'm also a long-term investor. So what I mean by a long-term investor, ideally when I buy a piece of real estate, I wanna hold that forever and really pass that down to the next generations. So when I'm looking to buy that property, I'll always look at the cash flow analysis of the deal and say, will the tenant not only cover all of my costs, but also my principal repayments? So then I know once I've bought that property, the debt gets amortized by the tenant over 30 years or 20 years, depending on your loan, and that property will be paid off unencumbered by the time I'm ready to decide to leave work. Why is that important? Because at the end of the day, the best way to live on your real estate portfolio is through the cash flow it provides over the long term. So if you can build a real estate portfolio that over the long term has no debt, you are free then to enjoy your life doing whatever you want. Let's now touch on the benefits though of interest only. You see, if you have an owner-occupied debt that cannot be claimed against your tax return, then maybe going interest only on your investments and the extra money you're receiving in rent can go towards paying down the principal on your principal place of residence. So there's a strategy that's right for everyone. What's important is though, is understanding why you choose interest only or why you choose principal and interest. This is no cookie cutter approach. That's why here at The Loan Room, we have the right conversations with you to make sure we tailor those loans that suit your needs and your specific goals. Listen, if you have any questions about this, as always, please reach out to us here at The Loan Room. We'd love to help.